the most famous monuments of antiquity, the Egyptian pyramids, have long attracted countless visitors from around the world. Although these magnificent structures have existed for thousands of years, some great mysteries still shroud them to this day. Accordingly, we can't even say in detail how the inhabitants of the Pharaonic Kingdom managed to create such huge and at the same time perfectly aligned buildings. The mysteries and facts that we're going to present to you today show us once again how many mysteries the past still holds. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more great videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn one of the darkest secrets of the Egyptian pyramids that you've likely never heard before. Hidden Chamber In 2017, there was great excitement among the experts. A previously unknown cavity was discovered in the heart of the Cheops Pyramid. And this is not a small alcove, but a room that's at least 30 meters long. In fact, the scientists received help from space during their investigation, not from slippery aliens, but from so-called muons. These elementary particles are thrown towards the Earth in the form of showers and, unlike gamma rays or X-rays, are able to pass through dense materials such as stone or concrete. The corresponding muon scan thus showed that a hidden chamber exists above the Great Gallery. However, we don't know what this mysterious cavity is all about, and it will probably stay that way. Apparently, there's no corridor leading to the chamber, and drilling into it could endanger the structure of the entire pyramid. The Tallest Pyramid? If we take a look at the magnificent pyramids of Giza in their entirety, it seems that the central pyramid of Khafre is by far the largest structure, towering over all the surrounding ones by a few meters. But in reality, things are quite different. With an original height of 146.59 meters, the Cheops Pyramid became the tallest representative of its kind and is still considered the largest pyramid in history. Today, the massive tomb towers 138.75 meters above the desert floor. The Kefren Pyramid, which currently rises 136.4 meters above the ground, reached a height of 143.5 meters in ancient times. But how is it then that the Pyramid of Giza, which is actually the second highest, looks like the largest of these ancient tombs in many photographs? This is simply because it sits on slightly higher ground and also has a steeper incline than its counterparts. Although this pyramid is one of the most popular and certainly one of the largest, the pyramid the of Kefren is considered the most well-preserved. Indeed, the outside of the building is still adorned with some remnants of the once brilliant white limestone cladding, which brings us to the next point. Age Question A brief search shows that the Cheops Pyramid is around 4,500 years old. But how can we be so sure about this? The corresponding radiocarbon dating was carried out in the 1980s, but critics complained that this form of age determination was not as mature as it is today. And indeed, the tests of the 1990s suggest that the age estimates could be off by more than two centuries. Temperatures when the Cheops Pyramid was thermographically examined a few years ago, the experts were confronted with an unexpected result. The temperatures of the structure were analyzed in detail at two different points in time. In the morning, when the sun slowly warmed the stones, and in the evening, when the thermometer began to climb down again. In the course of the investigations, however, conspicuous temperature differences should be detected. In the lower rows on the east side, there are three smaller vertical limestone blocks that are significantly warmer than the surrounding blocks. The situation in the middle of the east side was very similar. Analysis of the soil revealed that there's something like a path that leads to those very different blocks. The origin of these temperature anomalies could lie in unknown cavities or in material differences and cracks. The temperature inside when the scorching summer sun brings beads of sweat down our foreheads, there's truly nothing more pleasant than a working air conditioning system. 
Although the ancient Egyptians naturally knew nothing about technical cooling systems and fans, the interior of the Cheops Pyramid is characterized by extremely refreshing temperatures. In detail, the thermometer there never climbs above 20 degrees Celsius, even when the scorching summer sun heats the surrounding areas to a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius. We know that the Egyptians would have used all sorts of interesting means to keep cool during these months, but is it possible that the pyramids would have served as a place for people to cool off when the heat grew out of control? We don't know for sure how many people would have been allowed inside the pyramids back during their prime. Most historians assume that the pyramids would have been off-limits to everyday citizens and would have been reserved for special occasions, for pharaohs, or even for other purposes that we've yet to learn about. However, one thing is for sure, whoever happened to be inside of these pyramids all those years ago is likely thankful that they weren't stuck outside in the brutal heat. Lost Technologies as already mentioned, the construction of the pyramids has been overshadowed by big question marks to this day. On the one hand, the question arises as to how the ancients managed to pile up the heavy blocks of stone into such perfect structures. But that's not all. The enigma of stone processing is also repeatedly at the center of debates. Drilling and sawing a material as hard as granite and basalt required tools that were at least as hard as the materials themselves. Thus, those who reject the theory of softer copper tools believe that the Egyptians had far more advanced technology. However, the high-tech stone saws of antiquity have been lost again over the centuries. Mysterious Granite Coffin the fact that a massive granite sarcophagus was once recovered from within one of the pyramids of Giza is exciting, but not a sensation in and of itself. What makes this exciting find so puzzling is the fact that the coffin is actually far too big for the burial chamber in which it was discovered. So it seems as if there was no way at that time to transport the coffin into the room without massively damaging the entrance or the sarcophagus itself. The researchers have played through several variants in this regard, none of which should bring any revealing insights. In fact, it seems as if the burial chamber was only built around the granite coffin afterwards. What prompted the ancient Egyptian builders to take such an unusual step is still an unsolved mystery. One idea is that the Egyptians may have known that grave robbers would have become a problem in the following years. After all, the Egyptians were known for burying their dead with heaps of jewels, gold, and other valuables. It makes sense that robbers would want to get their hands on those precious goods. If that's the case, the leaders at the time may have done their best to make it far too difficult to steal the bodies of the deceased. Instead of simply placing their coffin in a large room, they may have built the room and burial chamber around the coffin so that it could never be removed. This is nothing more than a theory, but it certainly seems plausible. The Orion Riddle You've probably heard that the pyramids of Giza are perfectly aligned with the stars. Robert Balval, who published the book The Mystery of Orion in the 1990s, has a significant share in this idea. In truth, however, this representation does not correspond 100% to reality. If the pyramids were really supposed to correspond to the stars of Orion's belt, they should have been arranged slightly differently. The Legend of the Slave workers chained at the feet, being whipped by their masters, and being forced to drag the massive stone blocks of the pyramids across the hot desert sand with the last of their strength. If this image sounds familiar to you, then you too have become a victim of a very common misconception. Although such depictions were used by early historians to explain the rapid construction of the impressive tombs, there's now much more evidence that the great ancient Egyptian pyramids were built without the use of slave labor. On the contrary, the discovered remains of the workers' living quarters show that they even led a comparatively luxurious life. As a rule, these were not forced laborers, but rather the most respected and experienced workers in the land. According to this, there were separate workers' settlements near the workplaces where they could grow their own food and live with their families. Glory of the Past 
Although the mighty pyramids still leave us open-mouthed today, let's not forget that the majesty of the past was even more breathtaking. The pyramids were once clad in gleaming white limestone slabs, making them look like sparkling diamonds in the desert. Unfortunately, this radiant coat has been worn away over time and used to build houses in Cairo. Evidence of extraterrestrial visitors now we come to one of the most controversial theories about the ancient Egyptian pyramids. While most modern researchers are primarily concerned with the question of how the people of that time managed to build such impressive structures, this approach is wrong from the start for people who prefer a much more otherworldly approach. If you follow the explanations of this parascience, then the inhabitants of the Pharaonic kingdoms were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial visitors. The extraterrestrial beings are said not only to have been worshipped as deities, but also to have provided the Egyptians with futuristic technologies that they used to create the mighty pyramids in no time at all. The imposing tombs, mysterious inscriptions, strange images, and statues appear to show extraterrestrial creatures and serve as supposed evidence of the authenticity of extraterrestrial theories. Do you think the ancient Egyptians actually got help from aliens when building their pyramids, or are such stories nothing more than made-up fairy tales? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. In truth, it's easy to understand how many people simply cannot believe that the pyramids were crafted by humans. After all, they're some of the most magnificent structures to have ever been built. It can be difficult to believe that a human could come up with such an idea, let alone bring it into this real world. Thus, believing that the pyramids were crafted by aliens isn't too terribly bizarre. After all, we can't prove how humans created them in the first place, so it's highly plausible that they quite simply didn't. Ben Ben Why did the Egyptians build their magnificent buildings in the shape of a pyramid? Well, maybe this design goes back to the legendary Ben Ben, which also had the shape of a pyramid. Accordingly, this divine stone is said to have been the hill on which the primordial deity Atom set foot on Earth for the first time. A look at the Pyramidion, which was called Benbenet in ancient Egyptian, shows that the mythological artifact also has a direct influence on the monumental buildings. This in turn means the pointed keystone of pyramids and obelisks. Tallest Structure in the World the year is 1311 when Lincoln Cathedral is being completed in England. If one follows the admittedly not always reliable traditions, then the Gothic complex also had a wooden rooftop, which finally gave the building an overall height of an impressive 160 meters. Why are we telling you this? Lincoln Cathedral was the first structure in history to dethrone the Pyramid of Cheops from being the tallest building in the world for thousands of years. No other structure held this title as long as the tomb on the Giza Plateau, which was originally almost 147 meters high. A look at the gigantic skyscrapers of modern times shows that the Empire State Building and Company were only allowed to call themselves the tallest buildings on our globe for a few decades. Since 2007, the titles belong to the imposing Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which has a staggering total height of 828 meters. The Country with the Most Pyramids there's no question that the ancient Egyptian pyramids are among the most famous buildings in history. Only a few other buildings managed to achieve the worldwide fame of the mighty tombs in Egypt. But did you know that Egypt isn't even the country with the most pyramids in the world? In its neighboring country, Sudan, which was once the heart of Nubian civilization, we find even more of these fascinating buildings. In detail, there are more than 220 pyramids. For comparison, in Egypt, on the other hand, we only count around 80 known pyramids. Ancient Power Plants Of course, it's strictly forbidden to climb the pyramids these days, but it wasn't always like that. 
So in the late 19th century, nobody cared if anyone climbed the ancient monumental buildings, and the German-born Briton Carl Wilhelm Siemens decided at the time to venture a detour to the top of the Great Pyramid. Arriving at the top, however, the inventor and researcher is said to have had a strange feeling, which manifested itself as tingling in the fingertips. When he took a sip from his metal mug, an electric shock is said to have run through his limbs. These and other stories fuel the idea that the pyramids are capable of generating energy. But that's not all. Some people believe that the buildings were by no means tombstones, but ancient power plants. Secret Door In September 2020, researchers discovered a new door in the Great Pyramid. It's at the end of the narrow corridor leading from the Queen's Chamber. Unfortunately, this tunnel is far too tiny for a human to enter, which is why a small robot was used to investigate. The small stone door at the end of the hallway seems to have what appeared to be two copper handles. It's unlikely that this is a ventilation shaft. After all, it does not end on the outside of the pyramid. What secret really slumbers behind the small door remains a mystery for the time being. Sarapayam of Saqqara the Sarapayam of Saqqara is one of the greatest mysteries of ancient Egypt. Located below the Djoser Pyramid, the sacred Apis bulls were lavishly buried here. The huge granite sarcophagi that were made are among the largest in antiquity and weigh up to 80 tons. Why the Egyptians went to the trouble of building the Sarapayam is still a matter of debate. After all, the building material, weighing tons, had to be brought in from Aswan, 1,000 kilometers away. The burial rite that was carried out, which was in stark contrast to common practices, also poses a mystery. Underground Complex According to an old story, the Giza Plateau was once adorned by a fourth, no less impressive pyramid. Does the mysterious ramp that leads straight down into the depths have a connection with this legend? In fact, this path leads to a hidden world below the plateau that was completely unknown until 2018. So far, only a select few archaeologists have had the privilege of setting foot in this restricted area. In fact, the area is almost 40 meters underground and has now been been flooded. In addition, we find carefully carved niches and black basalt and granite sarcophagi. However, since these are empty, it's reasonable to conclude that the complex was once the victim of grave robbers. The Construction Riddle from ingenious RAM systems to cable poles to controversial alien technologies, there are a wide variety of assumptions about how the pyramids of Giza were built in detail. Scientists are still looking for a solution to the construction puzzle to this day without having found a clear answer so far. As already mentioned, one hypothesis rests on the use of ramps winding around the pyramids like a kind of spiral staircase. The problem, such an undertaking would have devoured vast amounts of wood, even though the material was scarce in Egypt at the time and was correspondingly expensive. Although the historian Herodotus spoke of machines used to build the pyramids in the 5th century, this thesis is now also considered unlikely. So far, no remains of cranes, cable winches, or elevators have been found that would have been suitable for moving the heavy components. Tutankhamun Magnificent coffins, valuable jewelry, a cruel curse. When Howard Carter finally managed to track down Tutankhamun's legendary tomb in 1922, he found a wide variety of things there. The inexplicable events that took place after the tomb was opened fuel rumors of an ancient pharaoh's curse to this day. It's said that the final resting places of the rulers were covered with dark spells to protect them from grave robbers. And indeed, many people who had entered the tomb in the Valley of the Kings were to mysteriously die a short time later. Probably the most famous victim of the pharaoh's curse was Lord Carnarvon. The British aristocrat who financed the excavations died a few weeks after the tomb was opened as a result of an infection. Incidentally, Tutankhamun is the only pharaoh discovered who still rests in his original tomb. Temple of Abu Simbel 
As mentioned earlier, during the reign of Ramses II, the Egyptian population experienced an unprecedented heyday. How this social and cultural peak was reflected becomes clear when we take a look at the stunning temples of Abu Simbel. Built in honor of Ramses II and his wife Nefertari, the stone monuments bear witness to the incomparable architecture of the inhabitants of the pharaohs. However, the buildings are no longer in their original place. In order to save them from the rising water level of Lake Nasser, the temples were demolished between 1963 and 1968 as part of a mammoth project and rebuilt on a plateau. Tomb of Kent Kaus I Is it a pyramid, a rock tomb, or a mastaba? The answer is something in between. Although the final resting place of the ancient Egyptian queen Kent Kaus I could not be more unusual, it's often unofficially referred to as the Fourth Pyramid of Giza. In fact, no other ancient Egyptian tomb should be built in such an enigmatic shape. It's unclear what the background to the construction is. Some researchers believe that this is an unfinished pyramid. Others consider the theory of a private tomb to be more likely. Baca Pyramid Why was the construction of the Baca Pyramid stopped so abruptly? Which personality should have been buried here? And why was a military exclusion zone set up in the relevant area, which no civilians are allowed to enter? As you can see, the poorly studied Baca Pyramid is overshadowed by some big question marks. According to some rumors, the ancient building is now even being used as a trash dump. And now it's your turn. What do you think of the discoveries and mysteries we brought to you today? We look forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.